Well, you're, you're in bed, it's about five o'clock in the morning, the phone rings, and you know nothing good is ever, when you hear a phone ring at 5 a.m., you know it's not good. The fact that my mother and my sister didn't want me next to them, and they looked at me as a junkie, a delinquent, gang member, that hurt me a lot. And that's when the drug use started to, you know, escalate. Obviously, it, it'd be great if less people needed to go through this program. Uh, but, but unfortunately, and in New Jersey, uh, there's an epidemic. More and more kids are, are struggling through this. The new face of addiction is changing. I'm only 19 years old and I've lost 13 of my closest friends due to drug addiction and those kids I will never get back. It's hard to imagine these were, were young people, kids that were broken, kids that were in disrepair. We see that story, we hear that story all too often as families at their darkest hour bring us their kids and say please help save our kids. We opened our doors with a 50-bed co-ed facility serving teenagers and their families in, in a long-term substance abuse treatment program. And it's sad to say, but the demand for treatment, especially residential treatment, um, is not decreasing. My first time failing for a drug test for anything other than weed, I failed for opiates and I had a high level of opiates. And then they asked me and I wasn't even afraid to be completely honest with them. They were like, what, do you, what have you been doing? And I was like, I do heroin every day. Every time I thought maybe there was a problem, my husband would say, oh, it's just teenage stuff. And you don't know where that line is between regular teenage behavior and true drug abuse. I started getting into gang activities. Um, I began to sell drugs, sell some drugs as, as well as consume them. I'm quite surprised and appalled by when an adult says, well, I smoked marijuana when I was in school and there was no problem. I'm not an addict today, but it's not the same. 16 years old, seven, going on 17, and I have no friends, no family. For the past three years, I've spent all my holidays and birthdays in either inpatient or outpatient. You know, and I, I just didn't want to do it anymore. His regular friends started to avoid him, so he started hanging around with different kids who probably accepted him, and he went out and he was going to use heroin. So he, he took my car against my will. So then I got a call at 4.20 in the morning from the Denellen Police Department that he had been arrested with, um, he was driving under the influence, and they found heroin in the car. It was one of the worst nights, and he doesn't remember it. And if I bring it up now, he doesn't want to really hear too much about it. Daytop is the place where miracles will happen. And, you know, I've seen and heard, heard the stories from the uh, different uh, youngsters who have graduated or are going through the program. So you have to get to know that. You know, you can, you know, as they say, lead a horse to water. But if you don't have it within you to, to make a change, uh, it's not going to happen, and you see in these kids uh, that that hope in the midst of all these uh, difficulties. You you kind of think that you're the failure, but as you you start to go to programs here, we we learn as parents that we didn't cause it, we can't control it, and we can't cure them. Um, they have to cure themselves. Daytop offers the same thing to everybody who walks through the door. They give you all the opportunities. They give you every tool that you need to to make it happen, and they guide you. They, they hold you and they walk you through it. Exactly what I did was I went from being resentful to letting it help me, and it did, and I still, and I take it with me every day still some of the things I learned here. But finding Daytop, it's given us a chance for me and my husband also to get healthy while Jeff was here. So now that he's ready to be discharged in two days, um, I feel like we're ready. <laughs> and tonight, I'm, I'm hoping that more of us can get together and put our resources together so we can help more people. Our slogan is La Gran Familia Goya, the great Goya family. And there's a lot of pride in what we do. When we work together towards something, there's a sense of accomplishment as a family. There's a pride. If we all work together and help these kids accomplish something, uh, I think that makes a, a big difference. Make them part of our 
our family. It's rampant out there. I think in today's day and age, nobody can deny that. We're all affected by it, directly, indirectly, whether it's our child or our loved one, whether it's a young person that we coached on the local PAL or CYO team. We know at Daytap that we can't solely be dependent on public funds. It's events like tonight, it's very generous people like you that help us. The dollars that you are contributing, we're going to reach more lives, we're going to save more lives, we're going to give parents back their children, we're going to give families back to their communities healthy and whole. Right now, at this point in my life, I am completely drug free. I am going to school full time. I am working full time at a job that I love. In the future, what I want to do, I'm not too sure yet, but I definitely know that I am going to be somebody successful.